When homeowners walk outside nowadays, the landscape of their yard and town as a whole has completely changed. Wires are down on the ground, and trees that stood for almost 50 years also hit the ground or are inching closer to falling every single day. The roots being exposed representing the damage Sandy did. One woman told her story from a town that was hit the hardest during Sandy, Hoboken, New Jersey. Within seconds, maybe a couple minutes, I looked out my window and the next thing I knew there was an ocean forming outside of my apartment um, where I saw cars completely underwater. It was just pitch black, there was screaming, there was fear all over the place. Nobody knew where they were supposed to go or what they were supposed to do. Um, there was no food anywhere, no convenience stores, no grocery stores, and everything was just underwater. As you can see, Sandy left a mark on many towns such as this one in New Jersey and a memory that many will never forget. Sandy brought $25 billion of lost business activity. The 820 mile long superstorm also left over 8 million homes without power. Although the Jersey Shore was destroyed beyond repair, Connecticut beaches were still impacted as well. At a beach in East Haven, one homeowner discussed his experience. I know for Irene last year, down the street, there were uh, about 25 houses that were condemned and um, they rebuilt them all and I, I believe a few of them got condemned again for Sandy. So. There's an old foundation underneath this right here, and if all that wasn't there, this would have just kept eroding back and eroding back, because all the sand was pushed out onto the road too, which is you know pretty remarkable. So thank God this old foundation was there, otherwise this all would have been really bad, and I would believe this would have collapsed and everything. So it could have been a lot worse, but. Now, a month after Sandy, the cleanup process still continues. However, people are positive about the future. Now I'm surveying this to get all the sand back and you know, fix the beach right now. And um, we're doing, taking some precautions for, for some future storms just so you know, we'll be ready for them just as far as elevations and stuff. For Quinnipiac, this is Jill Talbot.